This video is about crypto telegram bots. This has been one of the most popular crypto narratives over the past month. And in today's video, I'll unpack everything you need to know, including what the most popular of these bots are, why this narrative has taken off so much. And I think it's because it solves some very real issues with the current offerings in the crypto market. And then I'll go through a tutorial on how to use one of the most popular bots, and that is Unibot. Welcome back to Dynamo DeFi. As a reminder, although I'll talk about several crypto tokens in this video, this isn't a suggestion that you do or do not buy any of them. This is definitely not financial advice. Now, let's get into it. First, a quick summary about what exactly is going on with this narrative, why is it so popular, and just how much this narrative has gained traction. The start, if we just look at the chart for Unibot, which is the largest bot with a token, we can see that it's gone ballistic over the past month. All right, first, let's go through a quick overview of the narrative before we get into specific tokens or anything. And if you look at the leading token in this narrative, this is the largest one, Unibot. This token has just done tremendously well over the past few months. It's up from less than a dollar to now, after a dip, still at $135. So it's done multiple. 100 X's and the core reason behind why is that to put it simply a lot of people are actually using these bots, right? They have a lot of users. They're generating a lot of fees. If we look at the top crypto protocols by fees, we can see that Maestro, the largest bot, but doesn't have a token is currently ranked 10 over the past 24 hours with $182,000 in fees, more than Aave, the largest lending market. So that is just an insane fee. And if we look at this, it's dipped a little bit after May, but since then it's just been growing. They're gaining more and more fees, real users. And then Unibot, which is the largest bot with a token, the one that whose uh, token I just showed you, Unibot has been going ballistic with the fees, generating over $50,000 a day recently. And if we look at this Dune dashboard, we can see that their cumulative users have just been skyrocketing from a few dozen a couple months ago up to over 5,000 now. And so lots of people are using these bots. Why? What is bringing people to these bots? And I think it's a few things. The number one thing is they solve a real problem in crypto. And that problem is crypto, for the most part, has terrible UX. And it's very complicated. What these bots do is they take a lot of on-chain activities, a lot of things that you might have to do manually to protect yourself on-chain, and they bring all of that into one easy to use interface within Telegram, and then they manage a lot of those things for you. So they have MEV protection, they have front run protection, they have honeypot protection. And they basically let you do all of these things where you're buying into these new listings from your wallet. And they automate a lot of the more difficult parts. Uh, the second thing that they're doing that's attracting a lot of people is they allow you to, for example, snipe DEX listings. So they bring in automation, whereas rather than having to sit there and press the button as fast as you can or code something yourself, these bots are doing it for you. And I think, you know, part of the reason why I'm interested in this narrative and why I think that it has some traction beyond just these months, I think I think it has a good chance of being around for a longer time period is that you're already starting to see people integrate AI into these bots. And I think that long term, there's a good chance that a lot of on chain functionality that those of us who use crypto on chain do manually now, right? You know, you have to connect your ledger to your MetaMask and then you, you have to manually approve transactions every time. I think that for most transactions, a lot of that is going to be abstracted away in the back end. You're going to have these front end interfaces that allow you to automate a lot of on chain tasks and incorporate artificial intelligence heavily to give you better signals for for which tokens are in a good position to buy and then maybe even execute the trades for you. And I think that this is just a first step towards that and Telegram is a good platform for it because Telegram is already used for a lot of crypto related things. And that's basically my thesis behind these, right? They're building a front end for on-chain activity, all these different bots, and they're already starting to incorporate other off-chain technologies into the bots. Uh, and then, so if you're looking to find bots, you're looking for ones to research, then great first place to start is the CoinGecko categories. They made a new Telegram bots category recently. This doesn't have necessarily things that launched in the past hour, but they've got things that are as small as a few hundred thousand dollar market cap up to Unibot. 
Not all, not all these things are the same quality, guys. I'm not saying every project is here is good. Still do your own research, but this is a good place to start to find it. You're going to go to cryptocurrencies on CoinGecko. You're going to go to categories. And then when you're on the categories page, you're going to find the Telegram bots heading here. You just search Telegram. Well, they have it bookmarked at the top here, or it's currently ranked 57. And here's your Telegram bots, right? So today I'm just going to go through a few of these that I think are a representative sample of some of the interesting things that these bots can do. It's by no means comprehensive. The first one is Maestro. So Maestro is not on here because it doesn't have a token, but it's the largest one. So it's worth going through. And they advertise themselves as helping you to trade directly on Telegram. So for example, they have their Maestro Sniper Bot, which allows you to snipe new liquidity launches on BSC, ETH, Arbitrum, and more. And then you have the Maestro Whale Bot, where you can get notifications on whale transactions directly on Telegram. I actually low-key found this was one of the most helpful because I'm big on on-chain analysis. I have a free ebook on on-chain analysis, and it's a lot to manage, right? But this lets you basically get push notifications to your phone from some top whale wallets that you're following. Uh, and then they have a tracker for your own wallet. So the idea of this is basically it lets you start managing a lot of your on-chain activity directly from Telegram. The next bot that we'll go through is Unibot. Now, if you want to install Unibot, you can do so here on their website by clicking start trading. I also have a referral link down in the description. If you find this video helpful, please consider using the referral link to support the channel. Now, what does Unibot do? So it's very similar to Maestro, very similar uh, to give a high level of what it does. It advertises itself as being six times faster than trading on Uniswap. And I like to think of it as having a, a lot of things built in to improve your experience trading on a DEX. So for example, they have limit orders, they have fail guard sell. So if you want to sell a token and you potentially are worried about there being slippage or you not getting as much as you were expecting you can simulate the sell first they have private transactions to outsmart sandwich attacks and front running uh, and then what i think what they really excel from is they have these two things known as the mirror sniper and method sniper and so the mirror sniper allows you to copy trade wallets on chain and then the method sniper allows you to snipe new dex listings now we'll go through a quick demo of exactly how to use Unibot. Once you install Unibot, it's going to look something like this in your Telegram app. And one thing that's really nice about this is you can access it from any Telegram application, whether it's on your phone, computer, etc. But it'll bring it up like this. This is a new one, new instance that I created for the purposes of this video. And you can see it'll generate three new wallets for you. So you're not using a normal wallet, you're using a separate wallet. Uh, again, this is managed from within Telegram. I would consider this to be for very high risk, uh, high risk funds, right? This is not something to dump a ton of money into. Um, something I'm using for small amounts for deck sniping and those sorts of things. But it will generate these new wallets. And the first thing you would do if you wanted to use this would be you would send ETH to it. So you deposit your ETH, and then you have the option to buy some tokens. And for example, if we select buy tokens, then it's going to bring up a new Telegram chat item with some details. We can select whether we want it to be private, whether we want fail guard, front running protection, and then select which wallet we want to do. Uh, and let's just say we want to keep these settings the same. We would click on enter token address, and it's going to bring up this little chat telling us to enter the token address. Uh, and this is the part where, you know, you would Presumably, don't type this in yourself. You would copy and paste it from CoinGecko or Dex Screener, but you'd enter the token address and then you would send the message. And then Telegram is going to, or Unibot is going to attempt to execute that transaction from your wallet. Uh, and it really is that simple. You're just basically treating this as your personal concierge that you're talking to in Telegram. Uh, let's go back to the main menu. Some other options there's buy limit. So if you wanted to buy with a limit order, you can do that in here. Uh, that's again, pretty handy because normally that's something that you wouldn't really be able to do on a DEX. Uh, and then there's some other interesting things here. And I think this is where it really shines, right? The buy and sell with the protection is really helpful, but there are DEX aggregators that do something similar. Uh, you have, for example, Mirror Sniper. You select Mirror Sniper and then what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow you to copy trade other wallets 
So you enter a wallet to your mirror list and it will start copy training them and attempting to even front run them. Um, so pretty powerful, the sorts of stuff that you might have to code something yourself to do previously. Uh, you can test it out. This one, I'll be honest, this one I find much riskier, right? Because you don't know why someone is making the trade that they are, right? Or if they realize a lot of people are copy trading them, then they might start trying to manipulate that. However, if you are trying to copy trade other traders on chain anyways, this is a way to do that automatically. Um, you just click on add addresses and then you'll be prompted to add wallets to the mirror list. Uh, another functionality that I think is really helpful is their method sniper. So you can click on method sniper here, again, all within the Telegram chat. And what this lets you do is basically snipe new token launches. So if there's a token that there hasn't been liquidity added for, then this you can put in the token contract address and what it will do is it will attempt to snipe it as soon as it's launched on a DEX. If you do want to test out Unibot yourself, there's a referral link down in the description. I don't have any special affiliation with them. Anyone can make a referral link. However, I do find it useful myself. And now let's talk about some of these other Telegram bots. Next one that jumped out to me as relatively unique is this one that's known as a loot bot. And what this is, is basically, again, they're building a front end for on-chain transactions, but Rather than focusing on trading and deck sniping, they're focusing on the ever-loved task of airdrop farming. So I know some of you who watch this channel like to airdrop farm. Who hasn't wished that they had a bot that would do some of that for you? That's basically what Lootbot does, right? You deposit funds and then they will start farming automatically. So they'll go through a series of tasks for ZK Sync, for example, to attempt to qualify you for these different bots. Uh, they'll bridge, they'll swap, they'll NFT mint, stake, etc. And then, and then coming soon, they have other ones like Layer Zero, Linea, Scroll, Base, Tyco, Polygon, um, all these different, all these different uh, airdrops that they'll be attempting to farm for you. And they also do have a token. Now, one thing I would warn you about with Lootbot, I think first, I think this is a really cool concept. I'm going to say that up front. Uh, if tons of people start using this bot, say tens of thousands one of two things is going to happen either the airdrop is going to get diluted because so many people are farming it or those wallets will be flagged as uh, sybils right they'll be flagged as as people who are doing automation so just be careful of that right there's no guarantee that it uh, works out and that these chains aren't able to detect that these people are airdrop farming so don't assume you got the airdrop just because you're using this bot but i i do think it's pretty cool and and i might you know test it out to see if it's worth a shot, right? Wouldn't that be cool if this could farm these airdrops? Um, that is Lootba, again, that's in Telegram as well. Another one that's interesting, uh, not necessarily to use, but interesting one to look at, especially if you're a developer and, and they have a token is GenieBot. And you now this one is much different because this is actually a B2B software as a service bot. And so what this does is this is actually an AI Telegram bot that tackles questions about your project if you're a dev and then people subscribe or developers, founders, etc. cetera, uh, subscribe by paying ETH and then they can install this bot in their protocol Telegram group. Final bot that I wanted to talk about is Collabland. Now this one's interesting because this was actually a project that I was already familiar with before researching this narrative simply because I've used it before. I advise several projects in the industry and for one of them we were setting up a token gated discord channel and we used collabland for that what collabland lets you do is build discords or telegrams that are for example gated by holding a certain nft and they have a lot of people use them they've had over 8 million wallet interactions 50,000 active communities and discord and telegram and it's just honestly a really sleek app and i would consider it an essential part of the no code stack if you are building any sort of crypto or web3 community now risk is as far as i can tell their token is basically a governance token and on top of that it's a governance token that's up over 400 percent in the past week so it's already up a ton um, but i think this is interesting if the narrative keeps going because the market cap is around 5 million so definitely high risk however when these narratives take off if they 
keep traction for a while, then often the tokens that do well are the leaders. So that would be Unibot in this case. Uh, but the other tokens that do well are the ones that are just well known that are able to become associated with the narrative. So for example, when we had Metaverse take off uh, in 2021, we saw Decentraland and Sandbox did extremely well. Were those tokens the best, most useful tokens in the world with great tokenomics? Not really, uh, but they did really well because they were tied in so so closely with the narrative. And I think the thing with Collabland is because it's probably the most well-known of these, it's certainly the most used of these bots in terms of raw numbers of users, not in terms of fees, but in terms of raw number of users, certainly it's, you know, tons and tons of people have used it. I think there's a strong chance that it becomes associated with the narrative. That's your rundown of the crypto telegram bot narrative. If I didn't talk about your favorite bot, I promise it's nothing personal. I just have limited time in these videos, but definitely drop a comment down below letting me know what your favorite telegram bots are. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. And until next time, this is Dynamo DeFi.